Yeah, obviously, um, uh, congratulations to my players and, and also to Bobby for a really, really good season. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of a dampener because you always want to finish off the home matches with a good win in that, but uh, you've had a, re a really, really good season. So, first I've got to say, well done to Bobby and the Santos team. played really well this season. And don't catch on fire. I thought uh, on the balance of the match that we uh, maybe shaded it. It didn't really look like anyone would score at times. But I think we really uh, did what was expected of us away from home. We got, uh, got busy in the middle of the midfield. The patterns of playing, we knew we had to keep possession. Uh, uh, the counter attacks from, from, from them would have been very, very dangerous. So by slowing the game down, and then stepping up the gear and the pace, I thought it worked at times. A really, really competitive game. Uh, uh, I danced it exceptionally well in the department. And, uh, you know, to come here to Cape Town and get three points is, is really, really important. We, um, we didn't have a great start to the season through various, not excuses, but for, through various reasons. It's hard to get over a death of a player. It's not always easy. Uh, then we had the issue of one of our players being very, very disruptive within our fellow players. And then also, we, you know, our strikers in the early part of the season never came to the good, you know. Last season, Ritson and Nguenia uh, had scored double figures, both of them. And then they heard that they hadn't scored three goals this whole season between them, besides tonight, uh, where Nguenia had a great start. So that, that was one of the areas that we needed to, to, to get better on. And then, you know, it's, it's, it's a big lesson for, for, <coughs> for everybody in concern, that, you know, uh, for fans and for, for the clubs, that sometimes you need patience. You know, uh, this thing of getting rid of coaches because, because they, yeah, Amazulus showed faith in me. Um, yes, there was times I was very, very close. But they, it wasn't that we were playing very bad, we were playing very good soccer, but we weren't getting the results. So they could see, there was a pattern. It was different if you're playing terrible soccer and you're not getting the results. But we were playing very, very well, and not just quite on, on, on our game, from a defensive outlet. Uh, the second half of the season, we scored 24 points with a game to come which is a tremendous feat. I mean, if you can get 24 and 24, then you're going to be pretty close up there. I know it's a season of two halves, but that's why consistency is the key. As we said, it's, you've got to get these guys to perform every single week at the same tempo and the same frame of mind and to just concentrate on the next game, not what's happening behind you. And we did that quite nicely this season because, yes, we were up against it, but we just focused on the next game. Didn't get too carried away. And we've had a real good start to the second half, uh, just from the break, the Christmas break as well, with, with three wins and a draw. So that's been tremendous for us as well.